What's up guys, Red Snow has been released. Uh, this is going to jailbreak the 4.1 firmware. Unfortunately, this is not the jailbreak that all you guys are looking for. Uh, it only works with the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. It does jailbreak uh, MC and non-MC models with the iPod Touch 2G though, so that's pretty good news. But it does only work with these two devices. Uh, as I said, it's not the jailbreak that everybody wants. The new jailbreaks for all devices will be out soon. Please make sure you hit the little subscribe button right up there uh, to get videos on that when it's released. Uh, but let's go ahead without further ado and start uh, doing this jailbreak. I'm going to show you how to do this. So first off, you do need to be updated uh, to the 4.1 firmware. Uh, you can download that from the links in the description. I'll have them down there below in the description. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you that I am updated. Let's go to settings, general, about, and you see that I am updated to 4.1, version 4.1. Sorry, my screen's a little bit cracked there. Okay, now let's go ahead, and what you're going to need to do, after you're, uh, you're on the 4.1 firmware, you will need to have it downloaded and saved to your desktop. As I said, links in the description for the iPhone 3G and iPod Touch 2G. Uh, and then you're going to need to download Red Snow, which I already have downloaded here. Make sure you save them both to your desktop so they're easy uh, to access. So once you've got all that, you're updated 4.1, you got the firmware downloaded, and you've got Red Snow downloaded, go ahead and start the jailbreak. Let's go ahead and open up Red Snow. Uh, you want to go ahead and have your iPod plugged up to your computer. Uh, so here we go. Let's zoom in just a little bit here on Red Snow. Okay. It says, Welcome to Red Snow. We're going to go ahead and hit Browse and this pops up now we're going to select the firmware mine is iPod uh, 2G or 2 comma 1 4.1 blah 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 so click the IPSW file alright is this a newer fixed model uh, so this is how you're going to be able to tell if your iPod is MC model or not uh, let me go ahead and run through this again you're going to go to settings general about and then you'll be you'll see your model right here as you see my model is MB 531 LL so you do, you see it doesn't start with MC so you know mine is not an MC model if yours does start with MC yours is going to be a tether jailbreak uh, that means that every time after you jailbreak this if you want to reboot or turn your iPhone or iPod or your iPod uh, on or off you are going to have to plug it back up to the computer and do this again do this jailbreak again which only takes a few seconds but you have to do this again to turn your iPod back on which kinda sucks but something you gotta do if you want to jailbreak uh, so I'm gonna hit no because mine is not an MC model and then we're gonna hit next okay so it's gonna do this so now that's done with that we are going to uh, select our options we can install Cydia which of course we want to do uh, we can go into verbose mode which that means when you boot it up like you'll just see some scrolling text when it boots up instead of the Apple logo which I'm not going to do uh, you can do a custom boot logo, custom recovery logo, enable multitasking, enable home screen, and enable battery percentage. You're going to want to select these three right here. These are three main features that the iPod Touch uh, 2G does not have that you probably won't. Multitasking, home screen wallpaper, and battery percentage. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Click next. And of course you do want to install Cydia. Leave that there. So once we do this, we got to be ready. Here we go. Go ahead and have it plugged up. I'm going to zoom out here. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to hold the home button for a few seconds, then we're going to switch and keep holding the home button, and then just start holding the power button and home button, then release. It's pretty easy. You never let go of the home button and you click the power button and hold it for a few seconds. So let's go ahead and hit next. So here we go. We're holding the home button now for three seconds. Then we switch to holding both buttons down for ten seconds, and it tells you what to do as you're doing it on the screen. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Now we're going to release the power button and keep holding the home button. Uh, it says you got to hold it for, I think, 30 seconds, but you really don't have to hold it that long. It'll pop up here in a second. Okay, so it's already doing it. Don't release it just yet. Okay, you should see this white screen waiting for reboot. Uploading RAM disk. Uh, you can go ahead and release it now once you see this picture. And uh, just give it a second, and as soon as it's done, all right, it's already done. We're going to go ahead and hit finish. Uh, it says downloading jailbreak data. Just give it a second to do that, and I will come back when it's done. Okay, there we go. It's installing the stuff now. Uh, this will only take a second, so just be patient. All right, it's finishing up now. Almost done. All right, now it's rebooting. And uh, as soon as it's done rebooting, you should have a jailbroken iPod Touch or iPhone 3G. So there we go. Let's slide to unlock. 
And uh, now I'm only 4.1 firmware, and I am jailbroken. And you see City is on my device. Uh, you can go ahead, open that up, start playing around with it. I actually need to be connected to Wi-Fi network, which I'm not going to do right now. Uh, you can go ahead, open up Cydia, start downloading some themes, applications, stuff like that. You can try out your multitasking. Let's see if it works. There we go, multitasking. Uh, you can, let's see, we got the wallpaper. Uh, let's see, we got the battery percentage if we want to. We can go into settings. Uh, it's kind of slow and laggy at the moment. Settings, general, uh, usage and turn on battery percentage so now we see the battery percentage up in the top right corner uh, and that's about it there you go it's jailbroken if you have any problems with this uh, you can go ahead and leave a comment below it should be pretty easy as long as you follow everything that I tell you in the video again all the links for this will be in the description below make sure you check out tiesafnup.com I will have a link to that in the description also uh, as soon as new jailbreaks are released I do post that on my site or if there's news on when a jailbreak is going to be released or more reviews and videos and such for my YouTube channel. Uh, so you guys might want to check that out. Uh, and that is about it. Thanks for watching. Uh, make sure you hit the little subscribe button to see when those new uh, jailbreak videos are released. And uh, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out.